So we're back for another video, alright? First of all, I'm going to give y'all the good benefits of distance and the bad benefits of distance. When you... I'm going to give it a good first. The good benefits of distance, of distance being distant to yourself and standing to yourself is you're able to do things you want to do. You're able to do the shit you want to do. You're able to get shit done. You're able to accomplish what the fuck you want to accomplish. If you want to get in shape, you're able to do that. If, if you want to if you want to get a job, get your license, you're able to do that. When you're alone, that's the benefits of being distance. Doing what you have to do. Doing what you got to do. You have no choice. You have to do it. The government wants you to do it. You have to. You have no choice. You have to do it. You have no choice. Therefore, the good benefits of being distant is a good thing. You're able to at least do, like I said, at least do what you have to do. Just get out the way and get away from people. Even te even even technology, even video games, social media, that's that's a that's those are good benefits of being distant. You, you, you can't be near that. Technology is not the best shit in the world, man. People get so excited with technology these days. It gets it sounds like getting boring. You know? Um and I'm gonna tell you the bad benefits of saying distance. The ones that you love the most, the ones that you say you care for, the ones that really, like, fuck with you for real. When you distance, right, when you ghost somebody, that got to be the most rudest shit ever, is you ghost with somebody, man. Like, once you ghost somebody and you trying to come back to them, they're going to make it like, yo, what the fuck? It's going gonna, it's gonna to draw confusion, like, why did you do that? You know what I'm saying? That, those, those are bad benefits of distance. I'm distancing myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, bro, like, that person probably been digging about that person probably missed the fuck out you. You just do that. And and, and when you distance yourself for the longest time, friendships going to fade away. I'm telling you right, your friendship is going to fade away. Because without communication, like I said, communication is the greatest tool you have. Planning is the greatest tools we have. If you do not have communication with that person, it's going to fade. Your relationship's going to fade. That goes for parents, too. Cousins, uncles, all that. If you don't have a good relationship, you just send your family. All that shit. You're not, the relationship, the, the friendships, it's cut. It's cut. You know what I'm saying? That person missed, missed the hell out of you. You're going to distance yourself for the longest. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's not bad to, take, to be to yourself. It's, it's totally good to be to yourself. It's totally good to stay to yourself. But what I'm saying is... It can lead to heartbreak. It can lead to not. It can lead to someone not want to not. They probably not going to want to fuck with you no more. That's another that 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 can lead to someone not want to fuck with you no more. And because you did that, you lift me up. And a person's gonna become careless. They won't give a fuck no more. If it is because you don't fuck with me, is what it is. Or you just not let me know something. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm just keeping it real, but those are good benefits of distance versus the bad benefits of distance. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with staying away from people. I don't, I don't like people either. You know what I'm saying? Even the media. I'm trying to get away from the media, man. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button.